Hi there, my name is Matt Bajerski and welcome to um, my YouTube channel. <sighs> okay, here we go. Well, first of all, there'll be many people who are now coming onto this video and uh, seeing who I am. So I suppose I might as well give some kind of indication of what I've done and who I am. Um, I was lucky enough uh, 10 years ago um, to stumble <laughs> into this field of work and many great uh, souls came into my life to show me the gifts that I have and the same as what you hold but I was lucky enough to be able to have the time to do, to do that uh, because I left everything behind uh, 11 years ago to come to what can be only known as a magical mountain and that's where I am now and this is where I have the Academy, Pure Energy Healing Academy. People come from all over the world to learn about healing, heal themselves, and the psychic uh, work that uh, we do here. Within the uh, 11 years, I've um, read for uh, thousands of souls, as I uh, tell people from day to day. And the reason why is because I spent um, 11 of those years working every single day, just about, uh, some days as well. And I just felt I needed to do it. And uh, it was a wonderful journey, reading for um, beautiful mothers, uh, fathers, um, solicitors, doctors, scientists, um, Hollywood film stars, um, uh, directors uh, of, of uh, Hollywood films, um, and many different people around the world who are on what's called their own spiritual journey. That means that many gurus came um, and healers and psychics. Really boring, isn't it? But unfortunately, people really uh, get hooked up on the who is this person and it kind of breaks my heart because m my feeling is you should be able to feel somebody instantly and know if they speak the truth or if it's just ego and uh, that me saying what I've just said feels really egoistic and to be truthful means nothing in my life, means nothing. What means something is helping souls along a journey and making them smile and when they leave this uh, academy they, they just feel better. That's what should be important. That's what really is important and that's what mankind should look at these days. Not how powerful somebody is or how important they are or how famous they are. What was this video about? <laughs> oh gosh, yeah. It was a, it's about how to heal a broken heart. Do I, I'm not going to start it again, but I'm just going to continue. So, okay. <sighs> Having said how many people I've read for, a lot of the times um, there is a connection with uh, reading for certain aspects and there can be only so many aspects of life we come here to experience and one of the greatest ones is love. Love above everything else is the most important energy. So how do we break down love? How do we understand what love is and how do we understand how to move forward from a broken heart or uh, this love energy that we feel we've lost? Well, let's start at the very beginning, shall we? If you have met somebody and you have spent time with them, no matter if it's for uh, 30 seconds or whether it's for um, 30 years, um, there is no such thing as space and time. It is what it is and you can have in a relationship with somebody on a bus or a train for three minutes and, and feel so much about that three minutes and feel so amazing that it could be equal to a lifetime of somebody else. So take that away. There is no judging, there is no measuring um, between love and how long you've been with somebody, okay? It's just a feeling and that feeling can be mighty powerful even if it's for a few moments. Sorry, I'm repeating myself, but it's true. Get all this out of the way. It clears a lot of things, as you will understand as we move forward. The first thing we have to understand about life is that when we come here, uh, you might find this difficult, but try and bear with me. Imagine that you are in the spirit world, which is all around us at any given moment. That's called home. What you think is home, sometimes I say is hell, <laughs> because it's, it can be difficult living here. So 
I wouldn't call this home at all. In fact, if you've ever felt the presence of spirit or been in the energy of the spirit world in any given moment, every any just, oof, you know what it feels like. Uh, it's amazing and it's nothing like here, trust me. So when you realize that we're at home and the energy that we are is as one, all one, all, it's just incredible. In fact, there's no way you can talk about it and put it into a box. No way, so I'm not even going to try. But you imagine that this world we call the, the physical, this, this energy, hard energy world, we come into this world to experience. That's why we come here. That's the bottom line. We come here to experience. Experience can be many different levels, many different feelings, and many different tests and challenges. Why? Well, first of all, if we come into this world, we don't come here really to have a holiday and just relax, because the whole point of being here is to experience the feelings that we go through on a physical level. What does that physical feeling feel like? As a spirit, we don't feel that, I don't feel. I just think that this gives us the uh, interpretation or the understanding or the um, the level of of energy that we we produce and it then affects the physical body okay this is why we have to get over a broken heart quick if possible because <laughs> it does affect our physical mm. so now we understand that we come into this world to feel and that's why we're here how and why and what are we about to do before we come into this world? I think if we've been here many, many times, we keep choosing different feelings and, you know, I'd like to try this. Okay, I'd like to meet somebody in this world that I can walk with for a certain amount of time and I need to do this and feel this with them. And then at that moment when we finished what we needed to finish, then we move on our separate ways. Sometimes we'll come here and say, well, I'd like to come into this world and meet my soulmate and walk with him right till the very end. Okay, so from, from meeting somebody on a train for 30 seconds or being with somebody for uh, 50 years is irrelevant to anything. It's just a separate feeling. It's just a separate challenge. It's just a separate energy test that we give ourselves when we're here. Okay, so your path is very individual so what you're feeling right now and the pain and suffering that you feel is exactly yours you you can't tell anybody how you feel nobody will understand not even i understand even though i'll, I'll i can place my hands over yours and feel the pain i will never truly understand it because it's your pain it's what you're going through it's your suffering and that's very personal nobody can understand that so there's no point you try and explain that to somebody it's like banging your head against the wall <laughs> you just don't bother. What you have to do is um, work towards getting through this pain. But to get through it, it's good to be able to see what, what, why and how all of this happened. So if you understand now, if you've got this understanding that possibly what this guy is saying to you may be right, then hang on a minute, maybe did I choose to enter into a relationship with this person that I, I feel the pain for and walk a certain path till a certain moment and then to say however it happened and whatever happened, whether he slept with somebody, whether she slept with somebody, whether they moved into the light painfully, whether whatever it was what happened, whether it was something silly and it, it, just, it just broke up. Maybe what this man's saying is that it wasn't any of those things. Maybe there is a bigger picture to everything. Think about that. It's never personal, even though it feels personal. I've known people who have walked into a house and found somebody having sex with somebody else, and it's ripped them in two. But in truth, when you look at this and you look back on your life and then you meet somebody even more amazing and more beautiful and whatever, the, and oh, thank goodness I walked into the house and saw that because if I didn't, I probably would have stayed with him for the rest of my life, even though he, I knew he cheated on me on the side. Do you see how things can change ultimately when you realize that there is a bigger picture and that walking into a house and finding somebody doing something wasn't there to hurt you. It was just there to say, you know what? Me being the stubborn and loving and the person that I know that I might be able to fix this and might be able to, you know, make this work. Actually, 
I'm going to need a good kick up my backside, so I might have to say something so dramatic that I have to walk away, or whatever. There's so many different reasons. But I think this message today for you is a very simple message. And if you're feeling pain today and suffering, I know that you're going through this pain and suffering and there is nothing I can do to stop that. All I can say to you is that the bigger picture is that there is nobody trying to hurt you, that there is no bad luck, that there is no karma. This is only for you to become stronger than whatever you're going through at this moment. To start to find your life again and your happiness and that beautiful, gorgeous soul that when was young used to smile and laugh and always dreamed about beautiful things happening in their life and the, the possibilities and the adventures that you wanted. Well, I'm here today to tell you that maybe whatever's happened for this broken heart to take place is that you're listening to this now and that I am here to say maybe what's happened is that now you are able to do and feel all that you wanted to do when you were a child. Maybe, just maybe, this is your time for adventure. Maybe if you let go of the pain and start to see this as a great blessing, that maybe somebody just walks into your life and blows you away, that you look back one day like I do with my wife and think, how lucky am I to be with the woman I am and how blessed I am to say thank you to my first wife who we parted company. And if not, I wouldn't be with the woman that I'm with now who I love with all my heart for the past 20 years. You are now on a healing path. Magic's about to happen and your heart will become stronger. And I tell you this from the bottom of my heart. The pain that you feel now is going to show you when you feel and find that love that's coming into your life, that you will be able to measure that love more than anybody in the world because you know what suffering is of the pain of love. Therefore, this is the reason why we experience all that we do. So get ready for the most beautiful love that's coming into your life because it will, I promise. Your heart is about to start healing from this moment on. Why? Because you're here and this is no coincidence. Spirit always brings you to the right place to say, today is the first day of the rest of your life and you are now about to embark on a journey of self-love and realizing how beautiful you truly are and whoever is blessed to step into your life from today is the luckiest soul in the world because you are beautiful and you are a heart that's true and when you fall in love with somebody you make a commitment and stay with them and you love them as much as you can that's what makes you one in a billion so don't you change and don't you feel bad about what's happened hold your head up high because you are about to have the most beautiful journey in the world because it starts right now, I promise. Watch your miracles come into your life after this video. Thank you for subscribing to MarkBayeski.com. I always forget to say that, but hey, the most important message is given to you. Love you all. I've been there. I know how it feels and you're going to have a beautiful life. <laughs>